All right, so these are the key things we're going to learn in the process um, of one month. Like I said, everyone on this call, please, my only ask is be willing to dedicate one month of your life. Let's have fun together. Put the time, the work within that one month. Seclude yourself. Stay away from everybody. Stay away from news. Stay away from anything. Honestly, potentially it can change your life. I'll tell you a story. Uh, about 20-something years ago, I came to the U.S. for my master program. And... Um, I did a master's in the field, geomatics, right? And, you know, um, eventually while in college, I went to take a program in Philadelphia in SAP. It's an enterprise resource tool then. Believe it or not, two weeks crazy boot camp changed my life professionally in this country. Extensive, so whatever I'm doing, that's why I'm too confident that um, if you put the time, you'll be fine. It's, it's more than enough in my opinion, to be honest. Because um, if anyone is on this call and you know what SAP is, that somebody went to learn all the key modules in SAP in two weeks, you would tell me they are crazy. Of course, you know everything, but that was instrumental to build a huge um, career and also empower a lot of our brothers and sisters in that field for many years, you know, even till now. So that one month you're putting in today can potentially change your life of not just yourself, but legacy of some other people that we don't even know right now. So put the work, put the time. You'll be surprised it will transcend you in some cases also. All right, let's go. What are the timeline? The timeline typically is gonna be like I said, four weekends. We're gonna start on Saturday, Sunday. Now, one thing I'll just point out, based on the feedback we got, we listened to our team. Uh, we noticed that people say, okay, well, can we make it instead of our attention span can be a little bit, window down after two hours, I get it. So we're gonna make it two and a half hours, okay? So instead of two to five, we might get it to two to 4.30. I think we should be fine. We'll be fine in terms of the context. We just cut off some basic things that we we'll typically do. Um, but I think we should be in good space with that uh, so that people can, you know, the attention span, but you see our strategy. We have something we've built in. You, you experience it tonight also. For those of us that are part of my workshop, you saw that we introduced a gamification in our process. The intent of the gamification is to help our team better retain the knowledge as much as possible. It's fun stuff. My goal at the end of this, if you have the knowledge, I'm good. So no big deal. This is the class curriculum. Um, we shared our vision as a firm. Um, our vision is to impact one person at a time. We love our Indian community, our Asian community, our brothers and sisters. We just want to leverage the same model and empower um, African-Americans, Africans in diaspora, Africans in the continent, Caribbeans, and anyone willing to learn. So that's our goal, as simple as that. So if you're on this call, you say, okay, uh, what are the fundamentals of cybersecurity? Let's keep it simple. Mostly we're talking about how do we make sure we protect the business asset, critical asset within your organization. All of us, whether we like it or not, externally, there are network, there are things coming up within our environment. So we just want to make sure we protect them. The cybersecurity folks are the ones that are really focused on protecting us from those external threats. Now, you might be telling me, okay, Aki, I'm just not an IT person. Guess what? I, I say this with all respect. In the old days, you might get away with that, but now, not anymore. Why? Because nowadays, if you if I come and visit in your house, the first thing I will ask you is, please, can you give me your network ID? So you or you come to my house, vice versa, you give me your network ID, right? And we all have access to the internet with our network, right? The pin. If you don't trust me, you're not going to give me that pin because that can compromise your whole house at the end of the day. If you travel to Mexico from the US or UK, and you know, they will send you a one-time pin, multi-factor authentication with your phone. So all of us will have to go and check our email, put that pin. That is, excuse me, that's part of IT already, the ecosystem of IT. So the world has trained you and I, forcefully to be really part of the ecosystem of IT on its own already. So, you know, so, um, so we're all IT, whether we like it or not, really. And at the end of the day, think about it this way. Like I said, we are mostly focused on protecting the company from cyber threat. Now, of course, there are technical side in IT if you want to do that. But the honest truth is that most of us on this call, um, the knowledge is what we need. You don't have to, and a lot of people may not agree with this, but that's fine. I own the vendor relationship in my organization in you know, a role I play. 
And believe it or not, I'm talking of the likes of the biggest players in the world, you know, that you can think about. So, you know, hypothetically, I can say Amazon Web Service, Microsoft, Google, all these big companies, right? So think about it. You and I are not going to compete with those guys, right? Let's face it. They're already established. So you're not really competing with them, so to speak, except that's your vision, right? So technically, you are using their tools, analyzing the result from their tools. So don't sweat that part of it. But you're making strategic decisions that will be tool agnostic, meaning I don't care the tool you use. Eventually, it will be what exactly is, you know, what exactly are we trying to do? Based on that, we can select a tool that fits what we are trying to do. As simple as that, okay? All right. Now, let me make you a little bit smart before you leave here tonight. Confidentiality, integrity, availability. Confidentiality is saying, is our information kept private and secure? Integrity, making sure data not modified, deleted or added. Availability says the system is available to whom it's required to use that system or not. As simple as that, okay? So we just keep it as simple as that. All right, typically we test our knowledge. I'll do that later, <laughs> but let me quickly jump on this. Cybersecurity rules out there. You can see there's so many tons of rules in cybersecurity. We are going to be the GRC folks. The GRC folks will include things like third party risk, NIST auditor, data governance on part of it, GRC analyst on its own. So our role is kind of much more broader. And let me tell you this um, if you don't know. So there's a GRC body called OCEG, it's a global company. Believe it or not, right now I'm one of the committee board reviewing their current program and their current new exam they are gonna do. So I'm in that committee right now, we're about less than 25 of us or so in that committee. It's the, so the GRCP, the global GRCP that the world knows that they use, you know, Scott and I, we are always on meeting at least for the last two weeks. And we are discussing things they can use to improve the GRC program. So when you say GRC in our mind, all of us have to think and say, there is the governance, there is the management, there is so much, um, similarity, but sometimes different. There's a cultural element, there is the assurance, there's the risk management, there is um, you know, a ton of area, regulation, compliance, ton of area within actual GRC. But our strategy is simple. Don't overthink the big, big talk. Mine is areas I know are relevant in GRC that I know our folks can get a job. We'll focus on those, that's it. When we get in, we have a job, we can now join them and be talking the big talk, right? But the rest is superficial. But if you go with the mindset that you want to know everything at once, you're not even going to start, to be honest with you. So I'm challenging you don't cloud your head with so many things. Um, trust us blindly for one month. Meaning, respectfully suspend your brain for one month while you're within our program. Just say, you know what? I choose to trust you guys for one month. After that one month, wear back your heart of, you know, your reasoning back. And say, okay, guys, forget you guys, screw you guys. Let's get back. I want to be myself. For that one month, just be like a robot with us. Follow the playbook, the script with us, and let us take you on our journey. It's been effective. You'll hear from one of us in the next few minutes. And um, why changing a winning model, really? I don't care. I only have one goal on this program. I've always had this for the last. 20 years, I've mentored people. And it's one goal. Everybody, if you don't mind, can we chat, type something together? Everybody, if you don't mind. We have only one goal in this class. The goal is J-O-B. Yes, Dove, you're right. Uh, the OCG you subscribe to is what I'm talking about. I'm in the committee doing OCG, OCG review right now as I speak to you. All right, can we type it? The only one goal is J-O-B for us, really. I respect everybody's goal. If you are coming here and telling me, oh, I need certification, I want to do this, I want, I want to get 20 certification before I do what, you know, yeah, yeah, I respect your thinking. I don't roll that way. I only have one goal. And um, for me, it's a job, man. Everything else is not relevant to me. Other people can help you with that stuff. And there are two reasons I don't care about it. I make hiring decision myself and I don't care about certification. If you guys, I mean, because number one, I know it's not a reflection of your knowledge, number one. Number two, I also know people do it for each other. So what the heck? To me, it makes no difference. Just know how to execute, know how to do the job. And even if you don't know how to do the job immediately, you know how to find the right resources to do your job. That's all I care, right? Okay. 
All right, what is GRC? This is a good snapshot that covers some key elements of it. Like I said, let's suspend your thinking for a few minutes um, of that one month. Trust our process. After the whole thing, we help you with resume, with interview preparation. And even when you get a job, God's willing, we are there to support you. I know a lot of people tell you, well, you know, I've done some program, they don't support, blah, blah, blah. We don't roll that way here. If I'm not going to support, I'll tell you we won't support. And we are the first to tell you, you know what, um, that thing you asked me or us, we don't know it as much, but let's find out who has done it for us before. That's it. Um, all of us cannot be dummies, right? So even if I don't know it, I bet you by the time I ask around, we'll find someone that has done a similar thing in the past and we can guide you to survive at least, you know? So that's where I look at it because we have an army of resources, people that have done similar things, we can leverage them to be successful. So I don't worry at all, really, personally. All right, I'll skip some of this. Then this is gonna be like the content of things we'll be doing. You guys can, um, honestly, there's much more that I've added to it. This is an old slide. So you'll see some much more stuff in the program. For example, incident response will be there. Another thing will be um, business continuity will be part of the program too. So, but there'll be great things to give you solid knowledge and um, some incidents out there. I'll just talk about this too real quick. For those of us that have not heard of cyber threat, some time ago, Target retail store in the US was compromised. It was a big deal. So uh, it was their third party vendor that was compromised. But guess what? They are still liable. So because of that, it became a big problem for them, right? Um, class action suit. I think they, it cost them over $300 million. I read it today. The other one was Colonial Pipeline. This is operation technology, which is an area I specialize in, in my, you know, one of my roles. And this is a big deal. In this one, it caused long lines in filling station in the US and Canada, North America. It was a disaster, really. So something to put your mind at. This is going to be the why. Why we are so important and vital. Somebody has asked me, all right, you know, I need stability, a job that will be stable, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, God bless your heart. But guess what? Nobody is indispensable. They can fire anybody. If it's not my dad's company or my company, right? I get it. But guess what? No CISO, Chief Information Security Officer or CEO, want to be the one to say, well, I laid off my cyber folks. The next week, we were attacked by a malware. How do you say that to your board? They will fire you. I mean, that's crazy. You can't say that. So it's kind of a subtle way to feel a little bit good. Elon Musk, you know, he bought Twitter and he fired a lot of people only to find out he also fired his compliance team. Oh, oh, sorry, my bad. Guys, can you come back? He was begging them to come back, right? So it's a big deal, you can't. So there are some areas, like I said, anyone can be let go, I'm not the illusion, but it's an area you would be very thoughtful before you touch because of the implication on you too. <laughs> because yeah, if your company is attacked after you fire your people, then you have messed up really. All right, let's talk about this real quick. Vulnerability, risk, and trade. Vulnerability simply means a weakness that can be exploited, risk, possibility of something bad happening, threat, an entry or actor that may exploit a vulnerability. All right, these are some things I wanted to just know for knowledge sake. And some framework we'll talk about in the program, most of you are aware of GDPR, which is really for folks in the EU, um, European Union, EPA for all of us in healthcare, PCI, payment card industry, all of us that shop on Amazon, they will be required to be PCI compliance naturally because they process our payment card, very important. Business continuity is saying, how do we make sure business continue if there's a crisis? Poster child for that was COVID-19. Company that did not have a business continuity plan, it was a disaster for them. All right, we're gonna pause before then. This is gonna be the framework we worked on on Saturday, you guys saw this. Then we'll do something fun. Before we get the frequently asked questions, I'll just do something real quick so that you guys will have this test of some of our exciting things we integrated into our program. So we use some tools to kind of keep it engaged. If you don't have this tool called Kahoot, let me quickly type it to the group. Can you just put it, um, get your phone real quick and just put kahoot.it real quick, everybody, if you don't mind, please. Kahoot.it, and I'll play a game for us real quick. It will be very straight to the point and uh, we can just play that game and have fun with it. It's gonna be very quick, don't worry. It should, it should not take us more than three minutes or so will be done. But it's, it'll be just, it's gonna be a very good one to get started. So what you would do, 
if you've heard of Kahoot, can you give me a thumbs up? If you've heard of Kahoot, give me a thumbs up. If you've ever heard of Kahoot, give me a thumbs up. If you've not heard of it, it's okay. No big deal. All right, most of you have. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it in team mode, please, everybody. So I'll tell you the Kahoot pin. I would like you to just quickly go in, put this pin on your Kahoot, everybody. If you don't mind, start logging in. Then I will start the quiz real quick. If you don't mind, everybody, can we just go to Kahoot? Let me tell you the number. And don't worry if you've never used it, it's not a big deal. I just want to show us as a group some exciting things we can do with it. So the pin is 296 2041. Can we all put it real quick? 2962041. All right, let's go. Put your name and start signing up on your team. Choose a team. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Make it quick. We'll do that for the next two minutes. And if you've never used it, just try it today. Most of our children, they use it in school, so they are used to it. I'm sure if you tell your kids, they will say, oh, we've used it before in school. It's a fun tool. We use it in leadership a lot. We use it in um, office projects a lot. But it's just a fun way to kind of keep things interactive. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can have a lot of us join. That would be awesome. If you guys don't mind. Let's go. All right, cool, 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 cool. I see a lot of people. Otumba, thank you, sir. Ego, Romo, Amaka, Stan, Etikalaka. <laughs> I like you, Etikalaka. Sewa, Lou, Babs, Anita. All right, more people? OK. All right, well, we, we can just get it started just for the sake of it. So brr, let's see what we got. Let's see the team that will win. So our question is going to be risk, threat, and vulnerability. Let's go. Three, two, one. We're about to go. Excellent. A weakness that can be exploited is called what? A weakness that can be exploited is called what? All right, let's see. Okay. A weakness that can be exploited is called what? You see, I'm testing if you guys are paying attention when I was talking. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. The weakness that can be, and for those of you still joining, the pin is 2962041. All right, cool. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, let's see the team that is winning. Team Sunshine is winning. Let's go. All right, let's see the next one. The possibility of something bad happening is called what? The possibility of something bad happening is called what? All right, let's see, let's go. The possibility of something bad happening is called what? And don't worry folks, just give it a shot. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. And those of you that have never tried Kahoot, just try it, don't worry, it's just one game, no big deal. Even if you get zero, we we'll don't know, you can use a fake name, don't worry. Just put a fake name there, nobody knows you. All right, cool, let's go to the next one. Let's see who's winning here. See, Motion is winning, woo, okay. All right, my team, you guys. An entry or actor that may exploit a vulnerability is called what? Aka, risk. Threat, vulnerability, what do you guys think? All right, let's go. And Dari, I know you're on the call. Thank you, brother. I'll get to you in the next five minutes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay. All right, don't worry, we're almost done with the quiz. Information kept private and secure is what? If you are keeping information private and secure, what do you call that? Is it threat, integrity, confidentiality, ACA, threat, what do you call it? Okay.
Come on, guys, more people. Let's go, let's go. A few of us are the ones playing the cards, but that's okay. But in the future, you know, it's just a very good tool to kind of play around, to get familiar with. So if you are in the conference, you know, if you go to major conferences, we use this a lot too. Just a fun tool. All right. Okay, cool. We're almost done, people. All right, who's leading? Ah, Team Fire is leading now. Excellent. Okay, the final one. Okay, uh, data not modified, deleted, or added is what? So making sure the data is not modified, deleted, or added. What do you? What do we call that? That is what data thread, data confidentiality, data integrity, data vulnerability. What do you call it? Okay. Excellent. I can see Team Red is uh, Team Fire is really on fire. Okay, let's see. Excellent. All right. So let's see. Finally, this is the final one. The final one. Let's go. This is the final one. System available to whom requires them is what? What do we call that? Is that going to be vulnerability, threat, availability, ACA? System availability. I think that's self explanatory. All right. Let's see. I hope my team wins. Guys, let's go. Let's make sure we win. Sorry, if we win, I have to house scream. I'm in fire. Let's see. If we lose, I'll keep quiet too anyway. All right, let's see. Oh, look at you all. Oh, you seriously? Oh my God, I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, shame on me. Sorry, guys. Oh, you couldn't see my screen. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, man. No wonder. Oh, oh. Okay, you can see it now. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. Oh, I feel bad. Okay, don't worry, guys. But anyway, Team Fire won. Oh, man. I was just talking. Oh, boy. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yes, I messed it up. <laughs> yep, I messed it up. All right, I messed it up, guys. No wonder. That's why. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Yeah. And I saw some hands, but I was just carried away. Sorry, everybody. But that's the gist of it. So let's get to the final part of our class before we bring our uh, one of our mentors. And the final one is straightforward. A lot of questions people always ask is, um, we just talk about those real quick. All right. Frequently asked questions. I'll be straight to the point. You know, is there programming involved? This and gentlemen, the answer is no, there's no programming, so don't worry about that. Um, do I need to be a US citizen? The answer is no. As a matter of fact, I've had a lot of people come in that I spoke with recently also, and we had that conversation extensively also. We don't need to be US citizen to, um, to do cybersecurity work, okay? Now, if it's a government job, then that's a different story, right? In those cases, then, we need to be US citizen. So the answer is no. Do I need IT background? No. However, I have an IT foundational class. You need to take it. Please make sure you take it if you don't have IT class. And the nice thing is, honestly, within one day, you would have the baseline knowledge of it, which is fantastic. You can relate and talk intelligent to any topic. So because the, the, um, the class is very comprehensive, just go to academy.skillwit.com. You see all our free classes there. Take it. They are very, very good stuff, OK? Do we help with resume? Yes, we have a class specifically dedicated to help with resume. We just focus on that. Um, does it require some time? Let's be honest. Anything great would require some time. My challenge is daily for 30 days, put one hour of study time, excluding the class time, okay? Put one hour of study time, and I think we stand a solid chance of being successful. What kind of computer, Mac, Windows, it doesn't matter. Some of you use your phone or tablet. Um, my only ask is make sure it's somewhere convenient, quiet, that you can focus for that period while we're doing the program. Sites to apply, Indeed, Monster, uh, ZipRecruiter, uh, LinkedIn Premium, anyone, I don't care, as long as they help us to get a job, I'll support it. Some roles you can apply for, this is a big one I've get, gotten a lot, GRC.
Hello, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Give me thumbs up if you can. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let me let me share my screen again. Um, I don't know what happened there. Okay, let me let me share my screen again. Okay, yeah, let me quickly share my screen. Okay. All right, so you can see uh, the DRCP is a good one to have. I advocate for it because it's a, well, I'm part of the review committee right now for their new certification. So I think it's great. Um, it's getting mainstream, getting more popular. And the nice thing, you can't fail it because it allows you to do it many times, so which is good. Uh, do I start a chance to pass? Yes. We also have some past questions we can share from previous experiences. We can, you know, kind of provide some that we think are questions we can ask you, you know, just a guide. It's not like an official thing. Um, class schedule, you know, I think we talked about this already. Um, what is the time that the cost? The cost is 750 for the program. Do you have payment plan? Yes, you could pay it once, twice, or three times. Of course, there's an additional processing fee of $100 if you do it um, twice or three times. So you can pay, and if you go to the website, it has the link there. The first is the one-time payment, or you can pay twice or three times. That's a popular question I get a lot. So the answer is yes, 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 yes. So don't, don't, um, don't sweat it. The options are there to pay multiple times. And it's all automated, so we are doing nothing. Now, the other thing I'll throw out there is that some interesting data. The data is that after a program like this, people that apply immediately within the first four weeks, um, they end up getting multiple interviews and potentially getting offers. People that wait for more than two weeks, it's gradually starts reducing your momentum. So I throw it out and I challenge you, everyone on this call, please immediately start applying. Like I said, just follow the script, follow us blindly for a month. After that, just say, okay, you know, but just trust us for a month, the process and things we ask you to do for that one month, okay? Preferably even two months, just trust our process. You know, follow the process. We stand a solid chance if we do that. That's all I'll tell you. And this is it, go to academy.skewe.com. What are people saying? I'll get one of our alumni to speak now. Now, one favor I'll ask from all of us, if you don't mind, please, can you go to the chat real quick, everybody right now? On the chat, I have, because this is a popular question I get all the time. I have the link to the uh, registration. That's the direct link. Then there's a YouTube link. If you don't mind, just go there, click on the YouTube link and like us so that we can send you any updates on uh, our programs. You see all of that pop up um, at every time when you open your YouTube. At least you have an idea of what program, what information we have coming up. All right, um, Dari, if you don't mind, if you're online, can you give me a thumbs up real quick? Um, raise your hand so I can have you talk to the team real quick. Dari, I think you can, if you don't mind. Okay, thank you, Dari. All right, so I'll let Dari, you know, and I'll send the link to the WhatsApp too. The class hours I'll send to the WhatsApp too. And okay, one more thing I'll quickly just do so that uh, if you don't mind, please let me do something real quick. For those of us that are not in our WhatsApp group, okay, let me quickly send the link so that you can all be on that group also. The WhatsApp group is a general group. We have most of our um, GRC professionals, and it's a very effective group that you can use to get information on what's going on at any point in time, okay? But let me let Dari go ahead and speak. Um, Dari, over to you, sir. Thank you for honoring our call. Thank you, sir. I just unmuted you, Dari. We can do that for 10 minutes. And uh, folks, ask Dari any question. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Yes, uh, my name is Dari, and I was part of the the last GRC class, um, the class was really great. I had the opportunity to meet people from different backgrounds and also work together, you know, with them as a team. And um, the class was really good, like I said, and I attended every, every of the, the, the trainings, the classes. And I watched the recorded video also after the, the class, you know, and um, Mr. Akin actually shared there's this star scenario 
like interview scenarios that Mr. Akin shared, uh, you know, in class that I gave us in class. And um, I ensured that I understood the slides that that's each slide, you know, from the beginning to the end. And also following Mr. Um, Akin's uh, instructions. And when I did that, I started, I, apl I started applying right away. I um, did my resume and applied. I got two calls, two recruiters reached out to me. And um, when I got the, the call for an interview, right? So I studied the job descriptions and then try to understand each of the, the job description and went back to the video, watch the videos and also the star scenarios to try to see how, you know, I could approach the interview. And I pasted, I'll just be honest with you guys, man. I pasted the star scenarios on my walls, you know, right before the interview. And then the interview started. The first interview I had was a panel interview of five people. So the CISO was there, the head of GRC, uh, a developer, a scrum master. I think the organization said they used the agile approach. They adopted agile. So the scrum master was there. And um, um, I think the IT, IT lead. So, and one of the questions that the CISO asked me was, do you have an experience working with a CISO? And I was like, yes, I do. And he said, okay, tell me about, just tell me about your experience with a CISO. So one of the scenarios that Mr. Akin gave us was uh, uh, a scenario with, uh, of a CISO, right? So I just started reading out the, because I had it on my wall. So I just started reading out the scenarios, the scenario, that particular one about Zainab. I don't know if you remember Mr. Akin. Yes, it was sir. about the new CISO. Yeah, so I, I was just reading it out. Uh, and the CISO was so impressed. And they asked me about Agile, asked me about um, risk, risk assessment, just asked me a couple of questions. But the CISO made the decision, he made the decision immediately. Right after that scenario was like, okay, I'm gonna offer you this job right now. And <laughs> that I had about an hour to respond. So he said, do I, am I interested? He asked me, I was like, yes, I'm interested and I would like to move further. I was like, okay, no problem. That was the interview. And the second interview I had was great too. Also, they asked me about the privacy. It was right there on the scenario. I mean, about all the questions that the interviewer asked me was right there on the scenario, the star scenario. And I was just reading it, you know, but, uh, my point is this, take the training seriously, right? Study the scenario, the star scenarios and the materials. Also, Mr. Akin will group you guys into different th teams, work with your team lead. And trust me, every bit of this training is gonna be helpful. And I got two offers, one, an immediate offer. And the other one was, like about a week after, but I have two jobs now, two uh, GRC, one GRC uh, compliance, um, compliance engineer and senior GRC analyst. So I just want to encourage you guys, this class is real, you know, put in the work. It's not just going to be easy like that, but put in the work and also listen to Mr. Akin's instruction. And I wish you guys the best. Thank you so much, Darry. Now, let me see if anyone has one or two questions for Derek. You can type it. Um, his role at GRC analyst role. Um, and one thing I, you know, we don't sugarcoat things here. Is a, you know, he put the work and the time, right? And you know, for me, it's joy when our folks come in and say, "There's no information session. I use the same people. I always change." And you know, and let me tell you how crazy it is. We have so much offers that people will tell me, "Please don't share my name yet." keep it low and I respect it. All right, that's okay. Some would say, well, you know, let's, once I start out ask, which is okay. But all we can do is make sure we keep adding value to our team. And uh, I challenge you on this call to, you know, um, bring others along. You know, when live uplifts you, figure out other people you can uplift to. Darry, I'm proud of
Sorry, everybody. I think I lost you guys earlier on. My network got disconnected. But um, I just wanted to say thank you, Dari. If you if you guys can hear me, can you give me thumbs up just to be sure I'm good? Can you guys hear me? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, we have six more minutes to go. Let me see if you guys have any questions. Thank you. Dari, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I'm proud of you and all your achievements. Um, I was just saying that I know Dari put the work, he put the time and the diligence. I challenge everybody on this call. You know, one thing we are very honest about is um, there's nothing that will come easy for anyone. But if you put the work, we stand a good chance. You know, I'm not here to tell you, you do want training tomorrow, you get a job. That's rubbish, really. Um, I know that says that, I just say nonsense. But I know anytime we put the work, we put the time, then good things always show up. That one I know. Um, okay, good point. Somebody said, do you need to rework your LinkedIn profile? So typically, okay, let me, this is a good one. This is a good opportunity. Uh, yeah, for this first, for this information session, I don't want to get into all that details, but let me just give you guys some general guide. For example, before now, you were a correctional officer. We respect you and what you do, or you were an Uber driver, or you work in OML, you were whatever your role was, right? You were doing gig job, it doesn't matter. Um, we're not going to put this particular role you're applying for in GRC. We recommend create a different profile for it because so that it's more focused. Then whatever profile you currently have on LinkedIn, hibernate it, or even in some cases, disable it, whatever, you know, and make this role a total new profile, new email, so that anyone that reaches you there will just know that it's strictly for this job. Then everyone will pass profile, disable it. Start doing that right now, actually. You know, if you are doing a program like this, immediately start disabling all your previous profiles. Because sometimes it might show multiple names and it will pull you up. The recruiters will notice that, wait a minute, this is John five times and they are confused. And if your credibility is doubted, it just makes things very complex for you. So I would recommend disable every profile you have right now. And you know, once you are Focus on this, you can upload this profile at that point. But we'll deal with that later um, as you progress. Let me see if we can take one more question. Are we going to have like an interview script? Absolutely. Maureen, um, and let me show this to everybody. If you are in the group, if you are not in the WhatsApp group, please go and check the WhatsApp group. I just posted it again. Make sure you are in the group. I just posted the documents Dari was talking about. I posted it to the group as a gift to our community right now. So whether you are in my class, or not, it's a gift to you to just say thank you for even attending any of our workshop. It's our gift to you guys, but what I'll tell you is this, we keep enhancing it. So it's a gift, but I'm telling you before you see it again, it will be like, we've added five more stuff to that particular document. But for now, we love any of our folks, go and succeed. We are rooting for you, whether you're part of my program or not, it's no big deal. We just want you to succeed and maximize yourself. Uh, would you be able to do this? I mean, I've got the program is not targeted for certification. We don't, our focus, okay, let me see, we are paying attention. What's the focus of this program? What's the program, uh, focus of this program? Thank you, you guys, are, I love you guys, you're awesome. That's all. Everything else is superficial, I don't care personally. Sorry, respectfully, you know, doesn't matter to me. Because I mean, yeah, I don't know if you guys follow my, if you, if you follow my status on uh, WhatsApp, you see my, one of my recent today was Elon Musk saying, you don't need a degree now. I'm an African man, original, right? So I love my African heritage, American proud one too. But my African heritage, you know, we are so much academic driven. I love it. We can, um, you know, we love that part of our life too. At the same time, we're in a society that focuses on skill, value. So we need to figure a way to marry both. You know, so if, I, if I'm telling my children, yeah, I'll study and know stuff, I'm more focused on the skilled, the confident, the outspoken. Um, you know, those things I know will translate to leadership. I'm more focused on those. Because the other part, yeah, it doesn't, it's okay. All of us, everybody will be fine eventually. But we need leaders. That's why people that are, you know, uh, 
so anyway, let me leave that back. But you know, just put put um, more focus on skill, knowledge, things that you can do to impact your client. I think that's what makes the most sense. Your client will not care. Okay, let me take you back. The only time they might you can pitch it is from a sales angle. I may come and say, well, our guys have done all this project. And by the way, they also have all this certification. But even when I look at proposals, honestly, what I care about is the work they've done. So, you know, but it depends on your audience. If my audience are oil and gas in, you know, some industry, not in, in North America, maybe I can tilt paper for them. But in North America, it's all about execution, what you can do. The training is starting on Saturday. This Saturday, um, 28th. Um, let me quickly finalize before we wrap it up with something real quick and you guys can, because I know this is one of the most popular questions. Let me just take care of it right here. You guys will see. Let me share my screen real quick. I'll be out of here. Um, the common question I get is somebody who asks me, all right, yeah, this is skill with you guys. Most of you have listed our site. Thank you for always doing that. We have so much you can leverage from the site, go to the blog. We have so many good stuff you can take advantage of. This is the program here. This is the program here. You know, let me send the link again, just because um, some of you just ping me right now. Can we repost the link about blah, blah, blah? I've posted a link, just check it. It's there, I've put it many times. Check it again. I posted it already. But the link, I can send it again, but it's in, just, Scroll up, you see the link there. But anyway, so yeah, you see the the class. This is the class, and a lot of people have asked me. This is where the payment options are. So there's three times, there's two times. You can make the change you want, whatever works for you. But this is it. Um, the other question somebody asked me is the WhatsApp. Please, for the WhatsApp, if you've not, um, you can ping me one on one if you've not been added to the WhatsApp group. But I just sent the link to the group. Let me see if I can do that uh, one more time and we'll be out of here. Somebody asked, are you teaching DRC tool? Um, tool? We are not teaching any specific tool. Um, you know, like service now, Archer, those are different things, right? I'm not gonna teach a tool just because I'm a tool person, right? There are so many tools out there. So in an interview, just tell them, use an in-house tool for your DRC. And those tools are no big deal, really. It's just, okay, you're tracking issues, you're uploading, files, you are keeping policies. So there are too many tools out there. So we don't focus on tools. Um, so can you just join the one that you have there? That, that should be enough. Join the link that you have there. If you're in one of our groups, then that's okay. All right, any other question? Thank you all for hanging out with us tonight. And just go ahead and register. For those of you that are registered, I'm excited about it. This will be fun. You are in the paid group already. If you've registered, make sure if you've registered already and you know you are in the paid group, just you know keep the um, communication going. And by Thursday, you'll see more information out specifically. Somebody said, um, somebody said, can you add me to this group? Yeah, sure. We can add it to the group too. Not a problem. All right, let me see. Let me take one more question and I'll, how do you talk when I uh, have a job experience? So we get into that when we get into the program, I'll tell you. Salary range for GRC, I think I told you already. The range is within typically, um, let's say within conservatively 90 to one, that I would recommend you to be within 90 to 115. Don't go beyond 115. You can if you want to, but I wish you got speed <laughs> because uh, if they make you a lead, you would overwork yourself. So I don't want you to be a lead for your first job. So to keep it simple, don't look for the money yet. Just look for the experience for a start. Now, some of you will not listen to me. That's okay. I'm not mad at you making money, but sometimes you have to be careful. If you go for the big money, they would expect way more from you. All right? How does one tackle requirement for job experience? So mostly what I've seen people do is they will just reflect their current experience as GRC experience, and that's it. You know, as simple as that. All right, anything else? Thank you so much. So folks, if you have questions, feel free. Um, please, please, 
ping me. Uh, let me send uh, the business phone number right now. One second, let me quickly send it to the group. If you have questions, just feel free, you know, go ahead and ping, ping the number. Somebody will reply to you. Don't take it personal. If somebody does not reply immediately, all right, um, just immediately you can just, uh, if you don't get respond immediately, they will get back to you. Um, I'm sure within 24 hours for sure. So don't don't worry about it. Within 24 hours, you'll get someone that will get back to you immediately. All right, you can reach that number if you want to. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Um, and I look forward to being your mentor and working with you. I wish you Godspeed. Good night, everybody.